your start, standing tall, feet hip distance apart. Check your posture from head to toe. Feet parallel, back long and neutral, so tuck your pelvis under slightly. Sink your shoulders down your back, open through your chest without arching forward. Stand tall, take a nice deep breath in and out. Feel your shoulders sink down your back as you exhale. Feel your chest expand as you inhale. And then we'll circle through your shoulders. So just get some movement into your shoulders. Forwards up, back and down, alternating arms. Forward up, back and down. From a, take it a bit bigger, keep your elbows slightly bent, circle all the way around. Rotating through that shoulder joint. Keeping your feet pressing down into the ground, heels rooted, spine lifted. Breathing deeply. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Feel that rotation in your shoulder. Slight bend in the elbows, you circle round. Let your arms relax as they fall to the bottom. And then we'll keep your arms by your sides. Reach down from one side to the other, lifting tall. Slide your hands down towards your knee. So your chest stays nice and open. Length through your back. Just warming your body up, your spine up, your shoulders up. Getting everything moving before we start stretch. So today we're going to stretch out your shoulders and chest and upper back and your hamstrings oh, I think. That's a good idea. And then we'll stay up in the middle, bring your hands in front of your chest and twist. So we'll rotate from left to right. Stand tall, draw your tummy in to support your back, soften your shoulders, let them sink down your back. So that gentle twist, gentle rotation into your waist. And then stay in the middle and reach your arms over. So we'll do one and the other, reach up and over. Widen down, up and over. Widen down. So alternate arms, press your feet into the ground. You can let your knees be slightly soft, just so that your back can really lengthen. And then stay in the middle after the next one, just even it out. Stay in the centre. And then um, I've got my chair today, chair behind me, and roller on the ground. So come and stand in front of a chair, feet hip distance apart. We're going to do some squats into the chair. So you can just squat without the chair, but to make it a bit different, I thought I'd bring the chair in today. So we're going to squat down, sit in the chair, push through your heels, rise up to standing. So squat down, push through your heels, rise up. So as you're squatting, check your positioning. Your knees should not go in front of your toes as you push it up. So make sure that your shins are staying pretty parallel as you push up. You're pressing evenly into both feet. So even weight through both feet as you come up. And you're trying to keep that length in your back. So your back doesn't curl as you come up. You keep long in your back. Feel your hips sinking back behind you to try and find the chair. And you should feel a bit of a stretch in your hamstrings. Possibly hamstrings and glutes working as you push up to stand as well. Glutes engage, squeeze through your bottom muscles. Push up to stand. Nice even weight through your legs. Soft shoulders. Feel that equal balance in both sides. Shoulders sinking down your back. Tall. Every time you stand, lift tall. And then we'll do a couple a bit slower. So we're gonna go down for the count of four. So one, two, three, four, and up for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you catch those small moments where your 
using momentum rather than body weight, rather than control. Yeah, so trying to go slower to feel those bits where you might, especially there, where you go into the chair, you might find that and come up out of the chair, you're trying to use a bit more momentum than muscle strength. Coming out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last one up to standing. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do some lunges. I'm just going to move the chair to the side or out to the side. And you can use this to balance if you need to. Because we're going to alternate legs. So come and stand neutral forward. Core muscles tightening, stand tall. Take a step back with one foot. Lunge, come back to the centre. Other foot back, lunge, come back to the centre. So you're alternating the leg that you're lunging with. Keep your hips pointing forward and your shoulders pointing forward. Feel your glutes engage as you push up. Make sure you're bringing weight into that back leg as it goes back, so you're not just tapping it to the floor, you're actually pushing into it and then pushing off it as you come back forward. Lunging backwards, alternating legs. Keep your hips forward, feet pointing forward, Press down into that front foot, press down into the ball of your back foot. Alternate lunges. To make it harder, you go deeper. So that back knee goes all the way, taps the ground, comes in. All the way, taps the ground, comes in. But that front knee stays aligned with your foot, your ankle. Oh, my hamstrings are a bit tight today. <laughs> I might uh, just do a few big ones and then go back to small ones again. <laughs> Push the floor back up, glutes tightening. And this is where you can use a chair, so if you're really wobbly, you could have one hand on the chair or on a wall and that's just going to make it a bit easier. So don't do that if you don't need to do that. Or Maybe just have a fingertip there to keep your balance. So use the chair as little as you can because that's going to take away from your stabilising muscles working. So you can use it if you need it, but only to the extent that you do need it. Try and challenge yourself still. Okay, we'll do two more. One and two. And stay in the centre. And we'll grab the band. And we're going to come up the front. So you're going to hold the band, shoulder width apart, bit of a tension on the band, come straight up and back down again. So my elbows are soft, they're not locked straight, a little bit soft, reaching up and down, getting that rotation in your shoulders, nice neutral position through your body and not arching your back. So if you look in a mirror, make sure, if you can't feel it, that you're not arching as you come up. So I don't want that arch into your back. I want nice neutral back stable up and down. No movement in your back so the rotation is in the shoulders. And as I say, you can have a slight pull apart of the band. It's not a real big strength one. We're just trying to get the stretch into your shoulders but just to help keep the movement nice and controlled and stable. A little bit of resistance can help. Slight tension outwards, reach up, lengthening through your arms but without really locking out your shoulders, reaching up and down. Tighten through your core muscles, tummy can draw in, you might get a bit of a stretch in your tummy, keeping your shoulders soft as they reach high. And then keep your arms up, lengthen through your elbows, hold there, sink your shoulders down your back, can you go back an inch further without your back? Arching, hold there, sink your shoulders down your back, lengthen through your arms, take a breath. Can your arms go a little bit further back without arching your back? They might not be able to, that's fine, hold there. Head is nice and relaxed, straight forward, so your top of your head is parallel to the ground. Deep breath in and relax your arms down. Bring the band behind your back, Turn your palms over so that your palms face forward. Shoulder distance apart, so hands kind of about hip level, hip, um, 
width. And then we're going to come up behind this time. So shoulders open, arms lift up and down. Shoulders open, arms lift up and down. So again, you're kind of neutral through your back. You might get a bit of a squeeze of your upper back, that's fine. What I don't want on this one is forward curled shoulders, so we're not lifting with the shoulders forward. We're trying to get an openness in the shoulders and the chest before you lift. So the shoulders are not in this forward position and then your arms coming up. They're pushing open, but without your chest looking forward. So we want open lifting, not arching and not forward. Okay, so that kind of subtle balance that makes all the difference. Okay, nice open chest lifting up and down. Trying to keep that neutralness in your back. And you might feel this in your chest, down your arms, upper back. And then on the next one, we'll keep your arms lifted. So lift up and hold there. So your arms lengthen, chest open, but your back is not arched. So neutral, no arching back, soften your chest, your ribcage back. Hold there, breathe. Head relax, look straight forward. Can you lift an inch more up behind you? Hold there. Feel that down your arms, close your eyes, breathe. Open chest. Can you lift a little bit higher? Up a bit higher. Well, this is the last one, so as high as you can, soft shoulders, open chest, head neutral. Breathe into your chest and then relax. Rest your arms down. You can drop the band off to the side. And we'll come using the back of the chair or a wall. Bring your hands onto the wall, onto the chair. Walk your feet back until they're under your hips. Stick your hips out behind you and find that stretch in the backs of your legs. So your heels push down. The back hip distance apart, lengthen through your lower back, so feel that your belly can drop towards the floor, your tailbone sticks up towards the ceiling to create that natural position down your back. Your head is straight forward, so no dangling head down, not straining up. Mine's lifting just because I'm talking to you, but try and keep your head pretty neutral so you're looking to the ground and your ears are aligned with your arms. And then just chill out there, take some deep breaths. Feel that your pelvis is tipping backwards with every breath. And try and relax, try and soften through the backs of your thighs, through your hips, into your lower back, just breathing. My knees are slightly soft, so that I'm not overextending into the tendons and ligaments in the knee joint. And then what we're going to do is we're going to straighten and bend one leg than the other. So bend one, push the other one towards straight, then switch. So this should intensify the stretch a little bit. But as I say, if it doesn't go straight, that's fine. You're just getting a bit of movement into it so it becomes a bit more of a dynamic stretch. So we just held it for a few seconds. And now just bending one knee, lengthening the other. So you get that kind of more intense stretch and then it eases. It's like a second of stretch and relax. Still keeping your pelvis tilting, keeping your shoulders relaxed, pushing your heels down into the ground, one and the other, straightening or moving towards straight and then bending. And then we'll hold still again. So push your heels down, lengthen through your back, nice length through your upper body. Knees can be slightly bent, maybe they're a bit straighter now. Just be aware, just notice. Breathe. And then take a nice deep breath in. And we'll come back up to standing. Bring one foot forward, one foot in front of the other. Push into the back leg, we'll just hold that stretch there. So really straight and lengthen through the back leg. Hold that stretch. Hands pushing into the wall to help push your 
body weight back into that leg. Take a deep breath. Lift onto the ball of your back foot, push your heel down. So just do a few of these, lift up and then push your heel down. If you want to, you can take that back foot further away, further away with the stretch. Try to make sure that your foot can touch the floor. So if you're not touching the floor, then it's too far behind and it needs to go a bit closer. So as the heel presses down, it should touch the ground. Your hips are forward, feet point forward, and then we'll change legs. So come to the middle, lengthen your leg back, one step in front of the other, just hold, start with, push your back heel down, lengthen along through the back knee, and hold there. Check your position, feet pointing forward, hip distance apart, hips and shoulders pointing forward, pushing into the wall if you've got a wall or onto the back of the chair. Keeping that, keeping weight in the back leg. And then start to move up and push your heel down. Lift onto the ball of your back foot and then push down. Moving through the stretch again. Alter the position if you want to. A bit further away, a bit closer. Notice whether your heel's touching the floor easily. Tune into where you're feeling that stretch. Soften your shoulders. And then keep your heel down to the floor. Push your heel down, lengthen your leg. And we'll come back up to the centre. Come back around to the front. And just shake your arms. So just try and find some relaxation through the muscles in your shoulders and down your arms and your, kind of your head and your neck as well. So you just kind of letting them wobble and be soft and relaxed and relieving that kind of stiffness and tenseness and tightness that you hold in your shoulders just trying to be a bit looser you can kind of lift your shoulders up and drop them down and try and let your arms be floppy and relax your arms and we're going to come down onto the ground and i've got my foam roller and um, I've just got mine as it is, but you can put a blanket over it uh, for a bit of extra support. And I'm gonna come and sit on the edge of the foam roller to start with. So hips, oh no, it's blue, it all molds in. On the, I'm gonna send my bottom, my tailbone is on the foam roller. Lower yourself down gently. If your head is not on it, because you're taller than me, blocks or pillows or something at the, at the other end to rest your head on, because you want your head like aligned with your spine. Knees bent, feet pressed down, maybe a bit wider than hip distance apart to keep you balanced. Reach your arms up to the ceiling, and we're going to lift your shoulders, reach up, and then push your shoulders down, squeeze together. So reach up, push down. Look straight ahead up to the ceiling, and as you push down, you might get feel like a bit of a massage in between your shoulder blades. So you can do this one just on the floor, but you get a bit of a bigger range of movement on the foam roller, and you get that extra kind of massage in between your shoulder blades and your spine. So my shoulder blades are pushing down either side of the foam roller which is giving a bit of space for that section between your shoulder blades and your spine that can get really tight and then relax your shoulders let your arms come out to the side so the backs of your hands falling towards the floor so just take a nice deep breath there tuck your chin lengthen your neck your feet are helping to stabilize you if this is too much on the roller, lay on the floor or bring some padding underneath your arms, a block, a pillow, underneath both of your arms just to bring them a bit higher. But try to relax and breathe into the stretch. The higher the arms are, the more, of a, the more intense the stretch will be. So you can always bring them a bit lower, but make sure that you're, you know, you're not too low. You want to get that opening across your chest. Um, so just breathe there for a moment, take two more really deep breaths 
As you breathe, follow that breath right down into your belly, into your chest. Softening and relaxing everything with the exhale. So at this point you can also notice if you're holding any tension or gripping through anywhere else in your body. Maybe your hips, your legs are trying to help you out and holding on just a bit too tight. Okay, that's about two breaths. We'll bring your arms back up over. Just hug around your chest a moment, soften your shoulders down your back, just to release out from that. And then take the other arm on top, hug round, fingertips reach into your upper back, shoulders sinking down your back. And then reach your arms back up to the ceiling again, palms facing each other. We're going to take your arms out to the side, come into this Y shape, hop it off the floor. Reach your arms straight up, pull your elbows down, come back together. So we're going to move through this stretch. Open apart, straight up, back down, together. So stay where you are on the roller. I'm just going to come to the side to show you what I'm doing, a bit closer. So open, straight, down and closed. So you can, if this is really intense on the roller, you can lay on the floor and do it. And your arms hovered off the floor. Open, straight, bend, together. Okay. And just notice where you are feeling it. Keep your chin slightly tucked, let your head be heavy. Your arms are not going all the way to the floor. You're just feeling that opening, that comfortable opening, and then moving through that stretch, which is quite an intense stretch. Even if you're just laying on the floor, it's pretty intense. For the shoulders and the chest, this one. We'll do one more. And then relax. Come up. So maybe roll off onto the side. Just be careful coming straight up if you are. Going to shuffle your bottom off to the end of the block. Keep your feet where they are for now, hip distance apart, and then this time just roll over the block. Let your arms relax out wide to the side. From this position, you can decide what feels comfortable with your legs. So maybe you bring the soles of your feet together, get a hip opener as well. Maybe you cross your legs, maybe you keep them where they are, maybe you straighten them out long, whichever feels most comfortable. And then we're just going to relax here for a moment. Find that comfortable position, Ooh, comfortable ish position with your arms let your head be heavy sink your upper back and shoulder blades down into the roller and breathe again if it's too much you do it laying on the ground or you lower it so the roller is quite a high wedge so maybe you just have a, a cushion underneath the back or stack up one or two cushions that are a bit softer and sink into Nice chest opener here. Relax through your hips, legs. Take a deep breath. Feel your belly expand as you breathe in. So breathe all the way down. Fill your lungs. Let your belly open. And then feel that air empty back out again and everything soften. And then release yourself. We'll come off the block, roll over to the side. Ooh. And move the roller out to the side a bit. And come and sit with your legs crossed in front of you if this is comfortable. On a block or a cushion if you need a bit more length in your back. Bring your hands behind you. Let your chest hinge forwards over your knees. And your hope. You know, you're trying to get your back pretty straight, but don't worry if that is not accessible for you. So if there's a bit of a curl in your back, that's okay. But as long as you're working towards you know, your belly button extending forward, your chest opening forward, you're not encouraging that curl position. You're, you're trying to open in this position, even if you're not as straight as you'd like to be. And then just breathe into that stretch in your hips. 
If your arms aren't comfortable there, you can bring them in front, bring your forearms to the floor. This makes it a bit more intense. And if your arms are forward, just make sure that you are, you're not just collapsing into that forward position, you are still trying to keep open and lengthen through your chest. And then come up and we'll cross your legs the other way, the other way. Sit tall, arms behind you maybe, hinging forward, hands on your knees, hands in front. Breathe and soften into your hips and your lower back, tops of your legs. Breathe. Notice how it feels different on one side than the other. Come up through the centre. Straighten one leg out, bend your other leg. You can have it bent in, you can have it wherever it's comfortable. Again, try and feel that length in your spine. Maybe sit on a block or even your roller if you need to. As long as you're not going to walk too much. <laughs> sit tall and then hinge forward, bringing your hands. Uh, behind you, maybe pushing forward onto your knee. Keep that length in your back as you reach forward. Maybe a straightish leg, straightish leg, because it doesn't have to be straight. It can be slightly bent. So if you're here, coming over, that's great. That's fine. Stay there. As long as you're feeling a stretch in your leg, because that's what we're looking for, is to stretch out your hamstrings. This is the block, cushion, floor, wedge, knee bent, but lengthening. Breathe into that stretch and hold. Soft shoulders, soften through your back. So try to really find that ease in the stretch. And then we'll come up and change to the other side. So lengthen your other legs, sit tall, find your position, hinge forward. Arms behind your back's quite nice because it opens your chest and just eases you in a bit gent more gently into it. Thinking more about that upper body positioning. Um, but hands forward can be, um, you can feel more ba like balanced, like you're less wobbly because you're pulling your weight forward. If you bring your hands forward, if your knee is bent up here, absolutely fine. We don't want to force into it. So if you're feeling a lot of sensation in the back of your knee, it's not great to lock your knee out anyway. Because what you'll find is knee straight, but your back's really curved. So you're trying to find that balance between sitting tall and your knees being bent, leg filling out and your back really curled, just find somewhere in the middle where you're not putting too much pressure on your knee and you're not putting too much pressure on your back. So these forward seating stretches can put a lot of pressure on your back, so just be careful with it. If you're feeling it in your back, lie down and do it instead. So it's just another position to stretch out your hamstrings in, giving us lots of options to stretch out our hamstrings in. Uh, but if it is causing back issues, then do, do it lay down instead. Okay, we'll come up and we'll just do some um, feet. So we'll just uh, circle feet round, sit tall, arms resting behind you. Go the other way. And then keep your toes flexed and then point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. And then keep your toes relaxed, wiggle your toes, and like, just like a nice relaxed wobble. We're kind of doing all of them, so rather than that kind of separate toes, we're doing all of them kind of forward and back. So all of them, all your toes, so you're kind of pointing and flexing your toes, but without the foot moving. It's not coming from the ankle, it's coming from the toes. And then we'll do that one where we open your toes and relax. Crunch your toes, open your toes, relax. Crunch, open. Getting that movement into your toes without cramp. And then relax your toes. One last one, up on your knees. Bend down, point your toes, push your ankles into the floor. Sit back, sit tall. And just take a moment there. So this is to stretch the tops of your feet. I'm just going to pull my toes up so that I get a stretch um, on the tops of my feet. So I'm just looping my hands underneath my toes and pulling up slightly, pushing my ankles, the front of my ankles down to the ground. I can feel a bit of cramp coming into one of my toes there. Um, 
But if you took your feet are tight, then obviously you don't need to do that. You can just sit, push the front of the ankles down into the ground and breathe. Relax. Breathe. Relax. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. Bring your hands over towards the floor. Sink your chest down to the ground. Take a nice deep breath there. If you need to tuck your toes under, you can stretch your feet out the other way. Tuck your toes under. That's okay now. So you stretch them the other way. Flex your toes, stretch them that way. Take a nice deep breath. Let your head rest down to the ground. You can stay in that child's pose position for a couple of seconds if you want to. When you come up, sit your hips back, stretch your toes out in that flex position for a moment. And then we'll finish there. Well done.